Hello, this is Lolly. Um, another thing that I did at Target was I picked up a couple of these uh, hand towels. And they are Christmas themed. They come two in a set. I believe they were $3 for the set. So I love this one because it says believe and that's my 2017 word. I love this too, but I decided I would like to make stockings out of this as well. So if I opened it up and put right sides together and fold it in half that way, I'm going to cut right along here to cut it in half up and I will be right back. Okay, I have the two pieces now. Now I'm going to fold them in half right side together with the cuff at the top. All right, and I already took a look at this and I cut out a piece of paper, an eight and a half by 11. I wanna get that top level. Eight and a half by 11. And this is as big as I could get with the, um, with the paper because it's not long enough. However, I'm just going to line this up and I'll just cut straight up to make a longer stocking. So I'm going to pin this to it, cut it out, and I will be right back. Alrighty, I've got that cut out. Like I said, I just cut straight up from here. Now I'm going to remove the pins, but I'm going to put them back in. I'm just removing them to get this paper off of there. Now when I cut my fabric, I was using fabric scissors and I made sure to cut away from the paper because I don't want to ruin my sewing scissors by cutting this paper. One of the things we can do is to use some of these scraps here to make a loop to hang the stocking. So I'm looking at this and thinking, thinking. So I'm wondering whether to just go ahead and keep. I'm just going to use this seam that's already on there and just trim it off. There. And then I will loop that. like this and I will sew that in here but I'm thinking I might want to pull the cuff down first thinking thinking um, the cuff is actually if you want a cuff on it you would need to open it up and push the cuff down like this before you sew it so if I do that thinking out loud I'm going to have to undo some of this here Since I'm making this up as I go along, that's too big of a cuff. Okay, let's shorten that. Okay, let's just go ahead and undo these. Making too much work for myself here. And I have my pin cushion in the other part of my craft room. Is that enough of a cuff or too much? Just right about there. Okay, and then this would have to go in And make sure that when you match the stocking up that the cuff is the same dimensions on both sides. You don't want it sticking down this far on one and that far on the other. Okay, now I'm thinking in reverse here. <clears throat> this would have to be sewn here so that when, uh, if I want it on the inside, but I kind of like it on the outside. Well. Yeah, I think I'll do it this way and sew it on the outside first. So I'm going to stitch that. Thinking, oh my goodness, so many uh, uh, decisions. You know what? I am going to sew it on the outside. So I'm going to sew this together in, uh, inside out, turn it right side out, and then I'm going to attach this when we're done. So you will notice that when I attach pins that I do them from the outside toward the inside. And that is because when I'm sewing, I'm putting it through this way and I like being able to pull the pins out with my right hand. Okay, 
So we don't need a very long um, or wide seam on this. And I could get the serger out, but it's one of those things that I keep, you know, in storage in its case. And I'm just not sure that I want to dig that out. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and sew this and maybe just zigzag the seams and then turn it. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's another pin right there. Okay. Okay, that is stitched, and I did do a little zigzag around that. I still, even though it's zigzagged, want to do a little notch here and there around the um, convex areas so that when I turn it, it won't be um, bunched up on the inside, and I'll cut a little notch here so that it can turn. Oh, I like it. <laughs> yes, I really am happy that I think that I'm going to put this on the outside. Let me go ahead and press this first. Okay, that is pressed. So now what I'm going to do is take this. I was going to loop it this way, and I still can. Yeah, that probably would be the best thing. And then I'm going to take it my sewing machine, and I'm going to stitch that in place right there. Okay, so that's it. Now, it, what I think would be cute would be to use this area here to dangle some really cute embellishments, like I was showing earlier how I have some Jingle Bells. That would be so cute. Or even leftovers that we had. <sighs> Where did it go? I just did another video. So the leftover embellishments from when I did the um, making stockings out of banners, there's one right there that would be cute. To attach that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet, but what I do think is that I will probably use this to put some heat transfer vinyl on, and I had a request to show how I'm doing that, so I will do that in a separate video, and I will put that link under this video, so if you want to see about the heat transfer vinyl, if you've never done it, then uh, you can look in the links below this video, and you can see how I do that. So thank you for watching. This was a really cute project. That's about as big of a stocking as I can get, and I will get two of them from these towels. Now, um, assuming that this one, let's assume it did not have the word believe on it, I could fold this in half and make one big stocking out of it, but I don't want to do that. I could also figure out a way to make this a stocking with the believe right up up and down the center. It would take a little bit of fidgeting, but I think I actually just want this towel to be used as it is. Thank you for watching, for giving me a thumbs up, and subscribing to my channel, and make sure you, as usual, check the links below. And Thank you so much.